Hi there. If you remember, I am in the process of writing a program to delete voids on a shape. Um, and I don't want to delete all the voids on a shape. I just want to delete the voids that were created by the delete island command um, that the system uses to get rid of these isolated areas of the shape. I don't want to delete user created voids because I assume they're there for a reason and uh, I don't want to just arbitrarily delete things that someone purposely put in. I want to delete the voids that the system creates. This is the island delete button. Say if I choose this on my test case you can see there are five little islands that the system is going to void. Over here on the options it says I have five on the layer, five on the design, and I choose delete all on layer and they are gone. I have the boundary layer turned on so you can see the actual voids the system has just created. Now if I go in and I query one of these voids you can see it says the properties of it is it is a dynamically deleted island. Very good. I can now go in and create a program that'll look at all the voids on a shape and automatically delete a void that has a dynamically deleted island on it. The reason I want to do that is it's pretty simple because if you go in and you've created these islands and say you wanted to go you know slide a trace around that island still exists and it affects the way a shape is now filled so it it you know you can see things like that it makes it look silly so I need to get rid of those islands okay so back to querying this void it has the property query this void it has the property but for example if I query this void it doesn't have the property this void has it this void does not it seems rather arbitrary as far as when it assigns this property to the void that it's created um, these voids were all done at the exact same time using the same command. There's nothing really special about them and I can't understand why one gets the property attached when the one next to it does not. But that is um, causing me a problem with my program. That, I mean, that's obviously a bug in the software I would assume unless you have some kind of explanation of why it's behaving this way. I can recreate this all day long. The same voids get it. The same ones don't. Um, and I'm seeing it on real boards and it's it's making it impossible for my program to work because it just gets you know obviously it gets rid of the voids that have that property and leaves the other ones behind uh, please let me know what you think and I'd appreciate your input thank you